<sighs> Yo. I went to the dining hall, okay? Huh? huh? So, Makito and Kuru are going gonna go together? <laughs> Does that mean what I think it means? Okay. Good luck, Makito. Girls like her are totally pushovers when you show a little backbone. I'll try to forget what she said. Everyone head to the dining room, leaving me alone. Shall we go? Yeah. So then. We need to get into that locker. Took the key and unlocked the locker, and the locker door swung open. We saw. You're really close. Good morning. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> it's safe. Thank goodness. Sounds so relieved. It was like she was speaking from the bottom of her heart. <laughs> I just did what Celeste asked. I didn't say a word. I stayed quiet the entire time. So. Oh, and. I think I might be able to open the last set of files soon. Maybe as early as tomorrow. I'm doing my best, so please just wait it for a while. <sighs> so now we can officially say the case is closed. As far as the incident is concerned, sure, but... Can we talk a second? Since we had this opportunity, I want you to be honest with me. Just tell me, what are you trying to do... What are you trying to do all on your own here at the school? Is that why you wanted to come here with me? However... Regardless, that is something you need to know. You don't need to know right now. I don't need to know. That just makes me want to know even more worried. Worried? Like what happened during the investigation this time? You disappeared and we didn't see you again. Without a warning, without an explanation. When you do that... Indeed. It's only natural to think that they think that I'm mastermind spy, right? And you too. No! I believe in you. What? You believe in me. Isn't it obvious? People believe in their friends, right? That's why I want to believe. That's why I want you to tell me. And I want you to believe in me too. Because we're friends. I understand. It's true. Then maybe I can believe in you. Just a little bit more. Then... That's fine. Fine. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I disappear I've been disappearing and where I've been going. You see... When her for you do then was well frankly it kind of blew my mind right after i told i believed her she told me a story that was well almost unbelievable i decided i had to confirm what she told me with my two own two eyes i waited till i didn't come oh come on i hate you gay why'd you tell us went to the action correct the boys bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera or a monitor in it and in the storage closet there Way in back. She said way in back of the boys' bathroom closet, but... You right about this? I don't know. Let's find out. It's just a normal storage closet, as far as I can tell. Could we really be hidden here? Way back of the storage closet, but I mean seriously. We thought they get placed my hand in the back of the storage closet, and suddenly... As if I was being yanked in. Grish. So I heard sound, I fell through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. I fall through the back storage closet. Huh? It turned out the wall in the back was a revolving door that made it its way through to the other side. Correct. Storage closet. In the way back of that storage closet, there's a secret room. So this is the secret room, but what's in here? There's a bunch of files that look like volume after volume of yearbooks. They're all covered in dust. I'm looking at everything, one file on the edge. The bookshelf caught my eye. The Hope Peaks Academy Student Registry. It's the only thing that was not covered in dust. Had someone been looking at it recently? I slipped the file in my hand, but before I had a chance to look at it, a slip of paper fell out of the file and it turned to my attention. What's this? You must not leave. It's kind of weird. I could understand that if it said something like, I can't leave, but you must not leave. What is this? My head feels funny. A strange sensation. It's deja vu. Those words, you must not leave. I've seen them before. Somewhere before. But I can't quite remember. What do I know? What don't I know? I... A strange sound rang out through my head. It felt like I was shaking my brain back and forth. And then, darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started it. 
it's all over. And with that, I opened my eyes. I don't know how long it's been. Okay. Owie. Apparently some hit me and lost consciousness. That's all I understood. The dull, throbbing pain in my head proved that much at least. And everything's gone. Just normal desk with normal drawers. Empty bookshelf. Huh? Empty. Gone. It's all gone. The yearbooks, the student's registry, and even the note that had fallen on the floor. It's all gone. What does this mean? My brain refused to do anything anymore. The instant pain in my head began to spread across the rest of my body. For now, I should go back to my room and get some rest. The pain in my mind had been taught me to drag myself back towards my room. So I went to the more I felt things getting blurry. I can't see in front of me. I couldn't stop myself from collapsing right there. And after that... Hmm? in the vast distance, I heard a sound. It was faint, but undeniable. That sound is coming from the gym? So I desperately halted my shaky frame towards the gym. The sound gets stronger and stronger. What's going on? It can't be nothing. Here in the gym. What? I didn't make a sound as I opened the gym door. The sounds coming from inside, meanwhile, only intensified that much more. Before me ranged, raged a battle beyond anything humanly possible. On one side, not a human, that's for sure, but regardless, I couldn't stop staring. I forgot to move or even breathe. Why, you? What do you think you're doing? you a question. What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? This wasn't part of the deal! The deal? I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Hmm. Okay. But you do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? What I'm holding hostage? <clears throat> what am I looking at? What am I hearing? A hostage? Then could it be the Mastermind Spy is... Fifteen. Okay. Super Robo Justice present! Oh boy, I'm glad I didn't finish, like, yesterday at that, because that would have been in my head all day, like, what the hell's going on? Neon kill say, okay. Capture no. And that brings us up to now. The next morning, I die in hall the day after the case. So now there's only five of us. <sighs> only a third of the number of people we started with. Indeed. Loneliness has become a commonplace. Hmm. That's true. Still. What did I see yesterday? I don't understand. Nice one, Spy. Could that really be true? Montico, are you okay? Uh, no, I'm fine. I kept bringing it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Okay. Okay, in that case, let us eat till we pass huh? out. What do you mean, man? In that case? Because, I mean... Well, because look how scary everyone looks. I'll going to be... It's going to be because you're all fighting in empty stomachs, right? If we fill your belly, I'm sure we'll all cheer up, so let's eat. Okay. Let's fry up some fish and donuts and eat till we can't stand up. What? That's like super deep impact style, meteor impact execution level event combined of combination of food. What? Those both are breakfast time top sellers. <laughs> Still. And till we can't stand up, 
part of is a problem after we've done we need to go explore i see that's right since the class trial is over new areas should have opened up it's true plus we still have alter ego if we don't give in to the spirit just yet she was right we have to plan ahead and think about the future you got it yeah yeah think about happy thoughts no death thoughts you know <laughs> like we're gonna get out of here right for serious when this is all over i just want to get Reborn for serious, or I mean, reborn as someone serious. Well, hey, are you okay? That sounds like something someone who would, who's about to die, would say. <laughs> uh, I'm totally fine. I'm not gonna die because there aren't gonna be any more murders. Um, huh? What makes you so sure? According to the spirits, I predicted it last night since it revealed itself to me early from the ether. There's no doubt about it. However, how accurate is your fortune talent anyway? How about that? I'm usually hit 20 or. 12 or 30, 20 or 30 percent on a good day. Hmm. That seems really low. It's not like some occult mystery. Well, yeah, well, it's not like an ESG order. Of course, I'm not going to get it right sometimes. The is bull crap. Told you my fortune telling isn't some orchid or anything. So, um, fortune telling isn't or You got it all wrong. Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put in the same category as castle mutation. Cattle what? So... He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dis dissect them as part of their research. Actually... No, it's... you're calling what, it an urban legend. As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it happens... Happened to me. Mm. It all happened one day when I went to go get a hamburger. It was a place I've never been before. They claimed the patties were 100% all beef. So I got a burger to go and headed home. But... And before long, the, the sky was filled with mysterious blinding lights. Some crazy beam came out of nowhere and locked onto my hamburger. <laughs> if you need any more proof, this is from Japan. Touched, oh my god. The burger started floating in midair. And then... Only, only Japan comes up with stuff like this. <laughs> still floating there. The entire burger started coming apart! One part of it just vanished, while the rest fell back into my hand! Do you realize what that means? It means... The burger wasn't 100% beef! It must have had some pork or something mixed in! Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. You can't trick me! So I stored back to the place and got up to the badger's grill. And they totally admitted it. It wasn't 100% beef. They totally mixed it ground pork with it. How about that? Now you see that? That's the cat. <laughs> the hell? Uh. I can't tell if you're okay. Don't be mean. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Well, anyway, I hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> well, at least I won't murder anyone. Yeah. Me either. I mean, I would never. Of course. Me either. Indeed. Nor I. That goes for me too, of course. I could never kill any of my friends. But. Well. To be honest, I wish Vagator were here for us too. But. But that's so hard to deal with. They only think about themselves. <sighs> yeah, we're better off about them, I say. That was enough to prove. We were united for the time being, but within that bond held weakness and fragile. It's fragile. Yeah. Chapter four! Hey, we finally made it. Only took me 14 minutes to get there. We began our search as soon as we finished the breakfast dining hall. We had to head out and open up what was waiting for us. Oh wow, this is a big place. So I guess we'll begin there. It's called Data Center. What's behind that door is a total mystery. That's probably where the headmaster is located. Another classroom. Mm. Ugh, I'm glad this board got opened up and all, but there's like a ton of locked rooms up here. Well, I guess we're gonna find out now that the majority of the rooms are gonna be locked. Interesting. These blackboards. 
Eats to the imaginary I uh degrees, I don't remember, cosine that. Yeah, that's the famous equation. I don't remember what it's called, but that does equal that. I know this because in my engineering class, it's the convenience so smart. I don't remember what it's called though. I think it's Euler's formula. Is that right? Hey Siri. What's Euler's formula? Yes, it is Euler's formula. Look at me. I did remember stuff from from my college. It's like the f most famous like math equation basically because it has like all the important properties. Basically all of them. Chem room. I guess it makes sense. So much for a biology room. So I assume a small medicine was the apples. It's a chem room. Open healing all this stuff doesn't give permanent damage. It probably will, so don't do that. Lost interest. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Mm -hmm. What is it, Makito? Do you need to tell some? No, it's nothing. So then. Really? Well, okay. Hmm. Lost room position. You find those. Hey, Makoto. Hmm. You need something? No, it's nothing. Huh? But you sure? Okay then. So I've all kinds of medicine. Ah, right. uh, listen, Makito. Listen. Just take a deep breath and come and down and listen to me. Just chill. Out. There's all kinds of stuff that we don't didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and okay. I missed the other one. And what? Even we have Prodesign X. What's that? Hey. A high quality protein drink. It's nothing like the cheap swirl in the warehouse. Oh yeah. <sighs> it's amazing, it's a gold mine. Oh my prayers have finally been answered. Type to load up and some prayers. Players in. A gold mine, huh? Interesting. Got more coins. We'll have to go out and see if we can't get better loot from that gumball machine. There's a fifth floor! Oh, maybe there's room for biology yet, I guess. What do we got in here? Oh, did I just... I found another picture. It's a picture. This is why I face three people who are dead now. Classroom without metal plates over the windows. It's exactly the same. Just like picture I saw before. There's no way this isn't more important. This isn't important somehow. They're smiling the way you expect any normal teenager to smile. Just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. I can't possibly believe that we would be able to, like, smile like that in this world of despair like this. Except Cecily's not smiling. As a key part, she's like attacking. I think the picture was taken before even before we came. Well, I mean, everyone in the picture would know, knew each other before they got here. It must be fake. <laughs> no, you're fake. Pop down over and scratch the picture, man. <laughs> oh, a forgy plot. What are you, a middle school teacher? You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on. Then you're saying this picture is real. Hey, um. There was, there, if there were such a thing as a noble truth prize, I'd take second, take first, second, and fourth place. Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question, is picture real or is it fake? No, Joe's so eager to split things in half, aren't you? Hey, um... But there's no use, it's just no use. If you try to spill something that you can't be spilt, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being spilt. It's true. The picture is real. No more, no less. <laughs> on our word disappeared so the picture is real if it's really real if it's true then that if that's the case then it somehow cross dimensions to this one somehow it makes things real coin
I don't actually know what room this is. It seems to be... Like, uh... I don't know what it's called. Yes, you have to be watched 24-7. Another coin. As an office. Headmaster's room. The door's locked. Okay. So the headmaster is not in this room then, like I originally suspected. So, we have a fifth floor or two, but we also have this piano room. Music room? Music room. Piano, piano room, yes. <laughs> I'd call this more of an auditorium, but okay. No, I guess, I guess these aren't seats. But I don't know why you would have a stage in a music room. You notice you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think. So... About the secret room in the boys' bathroom. Ah, well, um, I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked? By who? Well, they came from behind and I did have time to react, so I didn't see who it was. And when I came to, all the mountains of files and documents were all gone. I'm sorry, I know how important those That's were. Fine. It's okay. I already saw what I needed to see in there. I... And I have to suspect that Mastermind might have come come after you. What? Because when I discovered the room, Mastermind must have seen me in the surveillance camera in that hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and did not come out again. Still, so, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted to see how the Mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the Mastermind would actually knew about that room. It would seem... But to attack you and steal everything in that room, that must have mean that there was that there was some unknown clue in there that could have revealed the Mastermind's identity. Then, you knew I was going to get attacked. That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing, though, right? After all, you are a boy. What kind of... She said, what does she think a boy is? Fine, I understand. Then let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left there? The note said, you must not leave. Just a second. You shouldn't talk about that. Not here. So... I'm looking into it. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. He said, okay. It sounded like as if he was asking, but I clear. It would have seen him. So matter. then. So now, it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Hmm? hmm. Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding Am something. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? That's... What? What's the matter? If you were worried about the camera, why not write it down? Uh, uh well... Hey. We're friends. You should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right, and that shouldn't be any secret between friends, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about friend. Uh, tell her, yeah, this is the only decision we've had in this game thus far. So I assume that something different would have happened, and now I'm gonna have to play up to this point to say don't tell her and see what happens, right? Because this is how it's gonna work. I haven't found any conclusive evidence yet. If I talk about it now, I could make things much worse. Friends shouldn't keep secrets, but there's nothing worse than explaining doubts. But friend, tell her. Tell her. Tell her. This doesn't feel like a forced decision or anything. Does it? Should have known. Fine, I guess don't tell her then. Sorry, I can't tell you, not yet. Correct. So that's your answer. However. But do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but you were unwilling to share it. I'm really sorry I am. That's fine. That's fine. Goodbye. Good job, moron! I don't know why they even gave me a choice.
Hmm. So this is everyone. Well then. Okay, let's let's discuss what we have discovered. Hmm. Yeah, good idea. She's ignoring me. So um. Hey, I can't tell. That's right. Is it she? Is it she? She's totally mad. Yeah, it looks like it. What's your deal? I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Yeah. There's a big shelf of chem lab on the fourth floor, and they all kinds of chemicals and stuff. Okay. And there's an all-star cast of nutrient supplies. So you should all at least take a peek. I highly recommend it. <sighs> oh, thank you. Okay. Mm. Oh, but it's good stuff though. There's medicine health stuff, but on top of um... that, there's also um a bunch of different potions, poisons, poison. Mm. They were all labeled clearly, so as to grab hand one by it's mistake. True. Still, we better make sure we care we're careful around her. Um... And we'll probably shouldn't tell Baikarto about the poison, right? Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Well... well, just in case. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, um... uh, just in case, yeah. I think you're right. However, Spike, I won't be long, he discovered it himself. Hmm. I found a couple rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and the headmaster's ah. room. The headmaster's room? That sounds like the same kind of place where we have to find some clues. If we could somehow unlock the door and get inside... Uh, who cares about that stupid lock? About that? It should be a problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down the door. <laughs> what was that? Uh, no, please continue. Did you say I got the nicest spot on the block? Uh, hell no, I didn't. Hey. And what he did uh, say, because I know you weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. <laughs> Knocking down the headmaster's door? What kind of war on education are you trying to start here? Well, that's my room, you know? That is not. Now, anyway, and you're thinking of busting it down. You said you don't want to piss me off if you have any idea how much bacteria leaving on a single bear claw. Um, no, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. I'm not mad! You're totally mad! I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're going to go around and having those thoughts, no one could put to add to school regulation. Seriously. Breaking down the locked door is prohibited. There's a rule now, you jerks. And he's gone. But if we had to go out of his way and make a rule like that, there's no doubt that some important must be hidden in that headmaster's room. But now that there's a rule, another we can do about it. <laughs> Metal sheets have been attached to the windows on the fourth floor. None of them budge an inch. In other words, just like everywhere else. Mm. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. There was to be expected, mm. though. So everyone said what they needed to say. Mm. I think so. You're serious. And it looks like nobody found any clues at all yet. Let's find a way out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this presses I've been all burnt to the ground. Someone do something to cheer me up. Um, can I say something? That? It's because my dad was smoking in bed. No, not that. I'd like to s report. Remember I found a picture on the third floor the other day? Perhaps. You mean the one that showed uh, the suit together, right? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another one. Another piece almost just like that one. Another one? This picture was of the three there. And they were all smiling. And the classroom picture didn't have any metal she's covering. Ugh. So the picture was it the only one. You found one with those three as well. But how can that? Conspiracy! <laughs> Must have faked it. But if the picture is real, then everyone who was in it, there would be some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we don't understand. What? Uh, it can't be. It must be fake. Said so if it was real, I know I could just write that off as a lie, but... So then. then you trust his word over the people who've died, huh? Because... That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, n it's not a lie. <laughs> I'm shocked. You told everyone how you should believe in our friends, but you refuse to do the same. That's not... Yeah, you dragged that out yourself, buddy. I wanted to tell. I was more than happy to tell, but you didn't want to. Oh, this from now on is the game character's fault because he didn't want to say anything, even though I totally told him to several times over. Hey, In order to she's so angry. I do. Oh my guy, stop fighting. All your good luck is going to float out. 
thinking about it too much. There's no way we could fake that picture. Of course. Yeah, I just tried to confuse us. Shouldn't listen to anything that the headmaster has to say. You must be right, but still. Are you so conflicted? What? It looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. <sighs> you should have the same sunken look in your faces. You were all so ugly before. You shouldn't let them sink any lower. <laughs> when I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile of manure. You know? Sorry. Just a second. Why are you apologizing? What the heck? Leave us alone. You're not part of this. That's right. That's true enough. Your problems aren't mine. We are, and always will be, completely separate. So whatever is causing your face to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if it happened to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Hmm? Did, did he just finally say something useful? Hey. Bayeka, what are you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you some good. Such ignorance. I was in the bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers. He was in the bath. He was been oh, talking about you. Do you say something? Maybe we should all go to the bath. Mm. Ah, good idea. Hmm. A mixed bath. Okay. A mixed bath. We got the dressing room. So bath, the laptop farm for. Did you decide to come up to hear what? What's so your problem? I, I already heard it with master. <laughs> with master. <sighs> you don't have to keep saying it anyway. So what are you doing right now? <laughs> Shut up! S stop bothering me. How about that? Get out of our way. We have talked to alter ego. Whoa. <laughs> no. I made a master a promise. A promise? <laughs> Mister told me to wait in here. So that's what I'm d doing. Huh? What are you doing? His, what are you, his dog? <laughs> if, if it's what a master wants, I would do anything he, he asks. <sighs> I just love being mistreated. <laughs> Fine, if you really want me gone, by all means. <laughs> what? Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> uh, like you to move. Yes. Sure thing, just kneel before me and beg. First of all, Maniac did a super set. I'm so seriously, I'm just asking to see if you let's use the laptop. Uh -huh. Did you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg! How about that? Okay, you'll just give us the old cup. <laughs> give her the old one two combo. One drop to your knee and two beseech. Why are you acting like you're part of this now? I was desperate, sir. Finally, I did kneel down for her and said, Please, I'm begging you. Will you please let us see the laptop? Such an abrupt miracle, feeling of happiness! All of the peel up anger as master for abusing me is evaporating. <sighs> hey, light bra, how's it going? <sighs> so you, so you've realized it's abuse. Hey, that shall be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that was something. You're really cool. Everyone, come closer. I already told you, Baika, but I was finally able to crack open the file that were on this laptop. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Correct. So just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. Uh, um. I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I feel the same. Resting on the keyboard, my hands had started to shake. Just a second. Move. That single word was like a sharp blade. W wound. I moved. To so then. Take over. Here we go. You gotta type the words appearance so I could read them. Can you tell us what you found? Leave it to me. Sure. I've analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particularly important fact I discovered that a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students of Hope Peak Academy and create a communal life for them. And that was the start, started goal of the plan. 
but it was meant to be more than just normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. That's... I see. It's the exact situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was... None other than the administrator of Hope Peak Academies themselves. What? What? Wait! Hold on! Then... The reason we've all been in prison here... Was the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever. No way. It was the, the school itself? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. That's right. It seems the reason they deceived this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What does that mean? What? Yeah, what kind of name is that or something? Otherwise known as the tragedy, it was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of that tragedy, yeah. Hope Peak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. I see. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is, one year ago, this thing, this tragedy took place. And whatever it was, it forced Hope Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. That's right. They planned to seize the students here. They would live out the rest of their lives. So, but, um... but why would Hope's Peak Administrators want to shut everyone up in like hey. that? And what could this tragic event could possibly be? Yes, it was. Sorry. Sorry, I don't know. If that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. I'm totally useless, I'm sorry. And that's all she said. <laughs> Is this really the end? We get halfway through the answer and that's it. Indeed. It would appear so. How disappointing. Oh, wait. There's one thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has something to do with the mastermind. The mastermind? Master Sir? Did you figure out the mastermind, Danny? No, I don't. That's not, I don't know. But I did find a clue, I think. The one leading the Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan is isolated to you, was a Hope Peak headmaster. So the person may very well be the mastermind who planned this all out, and according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. The headmaster? Is here? In the school? Okay. Then it's gotta be the mastermind, I mean... The a headmaster must be calling himself the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which mean makes the real headmaster much more suspicious. For serious. But if we were to break down the door to this room, we'd be dead, right? So what's it supposed to do? I... I'll find a way. Huh? Huh? I. No matter what it takes, I'll. I will find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter the cost. So. You um... tell. What's going on? I. I can't explain why. I just. Know that I must find him. What's going on with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So then, we should see if Alter Ego has any more information. So to regain her composure, she tried to type it again. Sorry. That's everything I found. Only information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I could do sorry. from here. I'm really sorry. <sighs> then it really is all over. Hey. Wait, Alter Ego. Says, seems to have more to say. So, um, um, well, it's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. Um, I haven't seen these three since yesterday. Heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was a flat, pierced clicking of keys and through type. They're all dead. Huh? What? Um, I see. Certainly, I knew that was a possibility, but okay, then. it really happened. Sorry. Oh, sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway... Well then, I guess that's it. That's it, a simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job, thank you. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. Then maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kinda tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. With that, the laptop entered sleep mode. I see. So Alter Eagle did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But... But... I feel sorry for him. But... You feel sorry, but he's just a computer program, right? Well... 
I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, you know? Hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, you did, but that's what a computer program is designed to do. You don't have to tell a computer good job every time you shut it down, do you? Hmm. Well, no. But when we talked to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean. I feel the same way. Hey. Hey, come on, it's just a program. You can't tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? But you know the difference between us and the program really is. Huh? huh? Start thinking about how you would differentiate a person and an AI. Alter Ego isn't human, I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as a friend. That's right! Yeah, yeah, he has no difference between us. He stills, still our friend. Hmm. I think maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> <laughs> then there's no problem calling it a friend after all. The more friends, the merrier, right? That? Check this out. Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives us value to survive. So, so anyway. What? Don't, so anyway, me, it's totally a smart and cool thing I w that I quoted from, and I will re hey. remember where. Anyway, there's nothing more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but... Just a second. And frankly, I'm questioning... I question the, the ease with which you decided who and who is and isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? Wait. The story's gone off track. We should just go over what Alter Ego has said all the time. Uh, um... Yeah, good idea for Big Sad oh, thinking. What? what are they making us kill each other? <laughs> Alter Ego said that happened one year ago. Okay. Is what started everything. Wow. Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something like that really happen one year ago? Um. I don't remember anything that could have described that way. What about you guys? <laughs> I don't re really watch the news, so... I'm sorry. Sorry, nothing comes to mind. Anyway... That event leads to closing of Hope Peak. At the very least. If nothing else, it must have been some kind of connection to the school. Uh, maybe all the students they were killed or something? However... That kind of history would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. Then maybe they covered it up. It would explain why none of us knew why the school had been shut down. I see. Totally covering up something like that. I suppose. What's wrong with our government? Our tax pays their salaries. We should be handling stuff like that. Anyway. Maybe, but right now there's only one path open to us. So... We'll have to find the headmaster of Hope Peak Academy. Correct. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. No matter what. And as long as we can get our hands on him, I think. Well. But even that is a pro problem not so easily solved. Mm. Yeah, you're right. So then. Well, our business is done here. So let's now, we should get out uh, here. Um... Oh, yeah, good idea. Yep. <laughs> then I. Two. Uh. Is this really that dusty? Wait, I mean, no, no, no I'm not w waiting anymore. I'm not guarding it. Girl's <laughs> gonna be so mad at me. <sighs> Let's avoid getting involved any further. Uh, um, uh, good call. But as we left just soon, someone was there waiting for us. Ba -bum, ba -bum. My heart is pounding, pounding, pounding away. It's pounding with anger! You're still mad about the whole breaking into the headmaster's room thing, aren't you? Oh, that little master doesn't matter about even more. And I'm a little bit jealous you guys enjoy an, in <laughs> an indecent mixed bath, but that doesn't matter either. It's building! I feel it building! My head's about to boil over with rage! Please. Don't get angry! Here, let me- <laughs> Such a your crap. It's just how walls of brain, okay? When you do something to me, I'll do it right back. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Huh? Fang for a fang? I can't believe it's just it's just a... God. No, it's just a saying. Hmm. Oh, I see. But what's, what's he talking about? Hmm. <clears throat> As such, soon the doors to the dining hall. Okay then. Sweet dream. Correct. So, it's nighttime. Okay. 
What does everyone want to do? Celeste was the other one suggesting our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. Mm. I think we should still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it, it'll make me feel better that way. Uh, um, I, I agree. It's true. Very well, then. In that case, time for bed. So we're back to the rooms. So back in the room, I lost some of my thought. What I learned from Alter Ego kept on spinning around in my head. The administrators of Hope Peak Academy had planned all of this. They decided it because of the tragedy, which had happened a year before, and apparently the headmaster is the one behind it all, the mastermind. All these mysteries make me worried, but I still have to try and unravel them, bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Time for the tea talk. Let's talk about where I was before I became a bear. At first, I was at total loss. I had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tech support department suggested I become a shrimp. She was like, Oh, the company has been trying to push over, push for this forever. It'd be a really incredible offer. But as she laid out the details, it turned out I wasn't a tiger pawn like I had hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. It's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I would like eating shrimp. I don't want to be one myself. Plus, someone might come along and step on me. So the lady started laughing at me. She was like, You think we could do a, t a tiger pawn on our biggest, on our budget? So I decided to become a bear and instead. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. Okay. You're breaking cookies. What type of cookies? Homemade, store-bought, as in store-bought, I mean, like, did you buy the cookie dough or did you home-make the cookie dough? Man, I haven't made homemade cookies in ages. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over. over. Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! day. I need to get to die. Yes, leave the area. Cut chocolate chip bought from the store. Ah, chocolate chip. My favorite. By far the superior cookie. Is that your dining roll? First thing I saw was her. <laughs> what are you staring at? Oh, Tuckle. What's your problem? What, do you think your eyes would rot just by looking at me? <laughs> Fine, then d don't look at me! <sighs> I think he's just surprised to see you at breakfast meeting, mm. that's all. Indeed, it's been quite a while since you've joined us. Um... Yeah, wh what made you change your mind? <laughs> like uh, <laughs> said, he likes a girl having some meat on her bones, so... <laughs> I'm gonna start eating. I'm gonna force it down into my stomach. I'm gonna eat till I drop. Okay. I refuse to lose. Hina. I won't do it if I were you. Well, yeah, there is. Then that. It looks like here too is it here. You know? Oh, she. It, oh, she said she come later. Later. You know? Yeah. After you leave. I wanted to tell her. I wanted to tell her. I told her like 20 times but the game was like no 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 we give you a choice but it's a fake choice one pass actually blocked up completely you gotta not tell her I wonder if we finish the game if we'll unlock it <gasps> is it a secret or not I don't know I know she said she wanted you to show some backbone but she didn't need to show her that much Just a second. dirty dirty prison dirty you don't understand Just the you're the type of stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? I'm telling you, it's not that. <laughs> just, just, just shut up already. You, you've been ruining your filthy mouth like that all morning. Oh. Running, I'm running. Filthy? Me? <laughs> Don't make me repeat myself. Huh? I'm not filthy. <laughs> it's, it's no use denying it. We can all s see you... Disgusting you are. Huh? Sh shut up! Uh, and that uh, lusty 
body of yours. After our n night, uh, you go out for your m m m m club meeting. Oh. Hey, knock knock! I can't deal with your dirty stuff like that. Your <laughs> midnight uh, sexcular activities are only put us in m more danger. Please! Stop it! Oh. You'd like me to stop oh. putting to you, you sweaty hand grabbing the big, fat, chalky tight. Going all of the extra credit, you screams are like the screech of violet blackboard. And, and, and it's oh, it's an amazing to send ideas are coming to me one after another. Oh, so you're gonna have your black eye on your left or right? S s sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, come on. Let's leave Chiquita home. She's a little funny from her pent up frustration. You know? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Well, she is murderous Jill. Genocide Jill. So, you know. Yeah. She does also write romantic mo novels, so there's that too. Alright, so you need to make up it already, no? Yeah, I know. Of course, I want to get things better as soon as possible. Everyone being gone, I haven't had a chance to talk with her what I saw. Before I would talk with her about it. Uh, what is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Uh, no, that's uh, him. Let's try to. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are you in heart? <laughs> don't, don't care who they are as long as they are. Get the right equipment. <sighs> Watch out, Sai. Sir. God, I cannot pronounce any of their names quickly, so if you notice, I've been trying to avoid that like stone heart. Because <laughs> I cannot. The very times I hear it, I will never say them right. The time I do get it right, they're all going to be dead. Well, can you talk? Wait till tomorrow. I'd like to get some rest today. For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? Mm -hmm. No, nothing serious. I just come have some minor aches and pains. Huh? Is that? It must be because of the battle. But you must be pretty bad if you have to get some rest. Are you sure you're okay? Mm. I'm I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep would get the back. You got it! That's true. Protein is good for all kinds of stuff. Hey. You guys, like, worship protein? It's like you're god or something. Okay. I don't know what, what it is with you want to talk to you about, but save it till tomorrow. She's in pain. Yeah, I got I'm it. Sorry. sorry. You know? Well... For now, let's eat. Eat. Can it nervous? Huh? Huh? How come? What's C your problem? I don't usually eat in front of other p people. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I would eat by m myself. What the heck? What about your family? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I used to live with my da dad, my mom, and my mom. Huh? You had two moms. <laughs> What? It's just how things were. Thanks for the follow, greatly appreciate it. That's like a serious issue. Just let it go. You're asking to, for trouble, getting involved with her more than you, you have to. Uh, how dare you speak with that disgusting m mouth of yours? Stop saying stuff like that. Anyways, I'm gonna head off and get to eat. If I don't, I'll never show. Up. Pretty miserable situation, man. <laughs> I wanted to tell her. Let's go down my book says I could and immediately walk back to my room. We gotta get some free time. We gotta get free time four times. Okay. What? What's the matter? Thinking about yes. <laughs> That's fine. Fine, I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. Is it time for Bayaka? Bayaka and I grew a little closer. Yes, let's see if we can get something that's a little bit more appropriate. Oh, that's sea salt. Everlasting bracelet. A handcrafted item made with needle and thread. They say if you pull it on, you'll never come. Off, it'll never come off again. 
Interesting. Hope peak ring? No! Normally I would expect something a little bit nice. I meant to look at it, not to immediately give, but... That's fine. Hmm. You'll get an F plus. You pass. But barely. She liked it. I get the impression that he liked it. That's good. <laughs> a bird in the hand is worth two in a bush. Hmm? What? It's a proverb. It means if you can obtain something inferior, there's still better than longing for something better. Yeah, I know it means, but what so? So in other words... Put another way, if you all have... If you... If all you have nearby is a loser, that's better than a proper assistant far away. Hmm. Yep. Be my secretary. What? A uh, useless commentator would like... You could never hope to earn more than, say, $100,000 a year. But as my secretary, I can guarantee you an amplum salary and a job security for the rest of your life. Good job with the F+. I know, right? And in honor of it being my birthday today, how about I multiply you already impossible expectations by, oh, 5.5. It's like board member money. What? Of course, as my secretary, you wouldn't be a mere servant. At some point, I'd like you to become an actual assistant, taking the lead on important projects. Assuming you can produce acceptable results, you could even become the core part of Torchman Corporation. So in other words... You have no reason to refuse. All of a sudden, I don't know why guy, but he's so serious about it. Still, I... This is your one and only chance to rise above the 99%. You're so so scared to have faith to keep in order to win? It's not that I'm scared, it's that if I want to succeed based on your effort, I'll have to find my own battlefield. I don't want to have it handed to me, I want to earn it. I have to find someone willing to fight and die for. Then you meant what you said earlier. If you can live a life that you're satisfied with, that's all that matters. I see. Hmm. I'm glad to see you passed my test. Huh? Your test? Naturally. That's right. The mere thought of someone like you as my secretary makes me physically ill. Wait, so then... What? The salary offer still stands, of course. It's yours if you want it. You don't need... I don't need you spending, spreading rumors that didn't honor his word. So he's basically paying me to do nothing. In a way, I almost regret my decision. Hmm. But I must say, I don't understand you. You don't want to fight, and yet you don't want to flee from the battle either. It's like I said, for me, happiness comes from living the life I want to live. Hmm. Easy enough is to say. Hmm. Now, you have to enforce your will until the very end. Hmm. If you can do that, if you can make it to the end, I'm afraid I'd be forced to acknowledge you. And then that's exactly what I'll do. Someday, absolutely. I don't expect much from you, but I'll be waiting. So I think I got that because I've been talking to Fib Jace basically whatever I can. <laughs> How did this... Your maximum number of skill points have increased. Hey, look at you go. Woo! 